Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I'm going to tell you up the the story that the the I forgot <laughs> the thing that I tell you last episode about the scientist let's start we also burn wax to provide light candle are made from wax before electric light light were invented people used many candles to fight their homes candles do not provide much light and they may leave melt wax much light and they may leave melt wax on the surface upon which they are placed yet nearly every home continue to use candle at certain times candles are often new for decoration Can candle lights is soft and pretty and some candles themselves are very beautiful candles are also used to give light when a storm cause the electricity to go off in the in the days christ lived on earth people burn burn vegetable or animal oil in a lamp the lamp had boil in which to pull the oil so so oil and a small neck through which to put a wick. The wick soaks out the oil through the neck. When the lamp was it was lit, the wick did not burn. Only the oil on the wick burned to give light to the house. People who live near the Arctic cycle often see a wonderful display of natural light. This light is called the Aurora Borealis list, or the Northern Light. The sun's ray carry many elix stone to the earth. A atmosphere as the electron enter the atmosphere around the arctic cycle they sometimes glow and simmer in the sky causing the aurora borealis the aurora borealis is a beautiful and splendid sight you probably have seen another kind of natural light on summer night. It is called boy luminescence. Boy luminescence simply means glowing light. Fire fireflies are a very common example of boy boy men sense due to a chemical reaction fire fly are able to blink their light on and off the this blinking attract fireflies to one another to carry on the life cycle this blinking of fireflies is also fun to watch on the summer light thank you for listening today and have a nice day see you next episode and bye